What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we got an update on the update went live, guys, and I was losing it for a minute. But over here in the crafting materials for the pit materials, right? So we had just made a video about how you can farm this efficiently. And if you look at this, everything is traded one to one. So, however, I, I was losing my mind. But if you click on it, it will still show that if you trade one Inglith, you will get three or excuse me, if you trade one Nethron, you will get three of the Inglith. It look, says it right here just as an update. I know people are going nuts just like I am. There's a lot of bugs with this update, but this is a main one that I wanted to point out because this is something I'm doing in farming the pit. So I'm just bringing you a very, very short minute video, guys, just to tell you this. So this is, this is it still works fine. And actually this is much better because now we don't have to meet a certain requirement like 100 yellows or 100 Neethrons to turn into Ingoliths. Uh, you could just trade like, hey, I only need 50. Let me just trade seven and get 21 or trade 10 and get 30. It's still three times, guys. So don't panic. This is fine. Uh, we're good to go. Uh, next, you should have gotten your Resplendent Spark if you defeated Uber Lilith in um, any season prior. So season one, two, or three, or this season included. So you should have gotten that. If you don't have that, make sure to go ahead and tweet out Adam um, or Pez Radar over at the dev team. But yeah, guys, this is just one, one little part, guys. I'm just bringing a quick update for everybody so they don't freak out like I did. But yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. See you later.